Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, I am the IT Geek. So I'm having a bit of a break from the sort of traditional YouTube series that I've been doing. So we just finished the uh, Azure Virtual Desktop series with Simon Lee, which was, which was amazing, 10 episodes. Uh, I'm, I'm going to spend a bit of time over the next few weeks um, blogging about a few topics um, that, that I've been meaning to blog about for a while, uh, but just not got around to it because I've been obviously busy with the video series. Um, so this video is actually going to be a demo as part of a, a new uh, blog that I ran around Endpoint Analytics. Um, now you can get the link for that blog in the description of this video. So please do read that blog um, with this video because obviously they're linked and I'll be referring to, to parts in that blog. Um, so please make sure just to get a bit of context you do read that blog um, before continuing this video. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm, I'm going to be doing a bit of a demo here um, and it's all going to be around the endpoint analytics. Um, so let's get stuck into the demo. So as you can see here, we are in the endpoint uh, manager admin center. Um, and as, as I mentioned in the blog post, uh, endpoint analytics is the sort of reporting service uh, and feature for endpoint and uh, endpoint manager. So that's why to, to access it, we have to go through this portal. Um, so as, as with most Microsoft Azure and Microsoft 365 services, there's always more, more than one way to get to where you want to get. Um, but I find that, that the easiest way to get to Endpoint Analytics is to click on uh, Reporting. Then from Reporting, obviously, we have a lot of different options here around device management, Endpoint security, etc. But if we go all the way down to Analytics, here we can see the option for Endpoint Analytics. So that's where we click on this. And here we have the, the, the sort of home page for Endpoint Analytics and, and the reporting. So this is uh, the overview. Um, as I mentioned in, in the blog post, it has uh, several different sort of uh, features or reports. Um, and there are also some, some prerequisites you need to meet. Now, you'll notice that, that there's a lot of data missing and there's a, you know, there's a lot of data that I don't have within my tenant. And the reason for that is one of the prerequisites, as I mentioned in the blog post, was that you need to have 10 devices uh, as a minimum as enrolled devices and that can, that can be you know co-managed hybrid joined or azure ad joined um, but they need to be added within your tenant and you need to have at least i mean it took it, when i first did this when i first configured this it was about 48 hours it took for the for the devices to show but it can take up to around 72 hours i mean it says there at the start that it takes up to 24 hours but that, that's unfortunately not the not the experience i've had um, so on this home page as you can see on the left hand side here we have the different sort of reports and I've, I've gone into more detail around these in my blog post so please do look at that so we've got startup performance proactive remediations recommended software and um, the two sort of preview reports at the moment which is application reliability and work from home anywhere also on this overview sort of home page for endpoint analytics we have our sort of our baseline and this again you can you can um, this is the default one I've got here, but you can create your own baselines if you need to. And also there's a filter here so I can filter by devices at the moment. And here I have my overall sort of analytics score. Now here again, I, I did configure this once upon a time. Um, so I did have 10 devices at least in here, uh, but they've since been removed. But as you can see, my, my endpoint analytical score is 86 and the baseline's 50 that I've got. So um, that's why that I'm in the green. If I was below 50, obviously it would be amber and red. Um, and so that, that's sort of the color scheme as you can see. If we go a bit further down, you can see we've got the score categories. So this is again for the overview and again it scores these report categories here. So we've got the startup performance, the recommended software, the application reliability and the work from anywhere. So as I said, I'm not because I've not got 10 devices, there's no startup performance in there. Um, but the recommended software, the devices that I did have were all Windows 10. So that's kind of stayed there and it's not removed that yet. Um, and the further down we go, we can see um, it can actually give us insights and recommendations. So uh, as, it, as it says there, 87% of my Windows 10 devices are not registered with Windows Autopilot. So that's a recommendation to, to, to boost my score by, by four points. Funnily enough, it says there, I can um, register my devices through Autopilot. So again, giving me some, some insights and some recommendations on sort of the front page. If we then actually click on the, the left-hand side, um, before we click on reports, we'll just have a quick look at the settings here. Uh, and as I mentioned, you, you can actually configure the baseline, but if we just go a bit, start at the top here in general, um, as you can see, I've, I've not got, we've got Intune data collection policy, so I've not actually got one. So if I click on this, it'll allow me to go in there and configure it. 
um, configuration manager data collection. So this is integration with SCCM or config manager. Now I, I actually have configured this. I've got an SCCM server that I hosted in Azure. Um, and again, that was for a, for a demo that I did um, a while back for, for a different client. But here you can see that's connected. Um, so if I wanted to, I'm going to stay out of the scope for this demo because it's going to be just a short overview demo um, in conjunction with my, my blog post, which is an overview. So I could go in there and configure that. Click on baseline. This is actually where we can uh, look at what the existing baseline is and we can actually increase it. So um, here we've, we've only got one uh, sort of the all organization median name baseline. So you need at least 10 devices. Now, if, if I hover over this metrics very slightly from day to day, it says, so I can use this to choose how far in percent a metric can fall below the baseline. So at the minute it can, fa it can fall 10 below the baseline. Um, so I could increase that if I wanted to, to 30, 40 as, as much as I want, but I'll leave it at 10. Um, and again, this is some, again, if I had, if I had devices um, registered in my portal, it would actually have some baseline metrics there as well. So again, moving further down, we're going to start performance. Again, you can see a full overview of what start performance is in my blog post. But again, it just gives us an overview of, of these items here, model performance, device performance, startup process, restart frequency. All these I've mentioned within my blog post on what they are and what you can see there. I will click on them shortly, but just to give you an overview of the startup score, if I'd had devices in my portal, I would have a startup score um, because those devices would be restarting, it'd be, be inputting, it'd be uploading data into um, this area here. But again, if you see the metrics, it lets you look at the core boot up score. If we just hover over this, it explains exactly what it is. So to calculate your tenant score, you look at how long it took each device to complete the core boot phase, and it scores the experience from zero to a hundred. Um, and again, with the core signing, so this is from from this is obviously not the boot up process, but the signing process. So it looks at how long it takes each device to complete the core signing phase. Um, so again, if we go further down, it actually breaks those two down. So what is part of the group, the, the core boot phase? Well, it's group policy and it's how long it takes. So it's how long it takes the computer based group policies to start. And also it's how long it takes for the process to get into the signing screen. How long did it take to get to there? Then for the core signing, that's broken down into two as well. So these are more user policies, group policies. And then, um, as well as how long it takes to get to the desktop and how long it takes to get to a responsive desktop. So that's when the CPU usage falls uh, below 50%, as it says there. And then of course you get a baseline score. Um, and then again, if I had any, um, if I'd had devices, I'd get some insights and recommendations of how I can improve my score. So again, very similar to the overview. Um, and, and with each of these sections, you'll get insights and recommendations right at the bottom. And like a graph there, it's broken that down into months and a score on the side. So it gives us more of a trend so we can, can look at trends throughout the month. So that's quite good. Um, and again, we can, we, can, we can look at these scores and, and, and look at the average over the next few months and, and decide if there's any trends that we want to want to look at, um, if there's any issues being caused with devices. Uh, and then if we go for, back up to the top, we can go to their model performance. Now this is, again, if I'd had devices in here, it would break it down with models. So it could be Microsoft Surface, could be Dell, Latitude, you know, it could be HP, any anything Sony. You'd have them all, all the different models. As long as there's at least ten of that model um, device registered in your tenant, then it would appear here. If you had, let's say, five Surface Pros, they wouldn't appear. There has to be at least ten of that make and model. And what what you can actually do is obviously I can't show you in this demo, but you can click on that device and actually dig further down in deeper to each device. So that's quite a useful tool there. You can get more granular information specifically to that device and that user. Device performance is very similar to the model performance. Um, well, this is device specific, so you'd have all your devices here. Whereas in the model performance, you'll just have the, you'll have model specific, so you'll have to click on the Surface Pro models or the HP models, etc. Whereas this one will be all your devices that are registered, so you can break it down into all the devices. Startup process. Uh, processes should I say sorry so again this is a very useful um, area and useful useful pane and tab because it goes into the actual window services and it shows you which window services are having the longest delay and taking the longest to start up um, so again very useful in an example where you know you've just maybe released a Windows update to a pilot group and you can check has has that update affected any window services and this is where you can see that information and it'll allow you to again match trends 
and and again you can delay your windows update or resolve your pilot groups issues and then deploy it um, click on startup frequency here again this is a really good um, a really good area a really good tab because it gives you um, basically it shows you why devices have been restarted and how often so it goes into as much detail as you can have it, how many have blue screened how many have been long power button presses how many have been updates so if you do actually have a windows updates and you've asked users to restart machines you actually see how much how many of them have done that and how many haven't and then the ones that haven't you can obviously um, chase further to get restarts um, so some really good insight into the restart frequency how many are blue screening again gives you really good information around trends um, if again around windows update if you had a windows update and all of a sudden your blue screen percentage goes up then you know that the windows updates has caused an issue so you can sort that and again same as before baseline um, sort of baseline data there um, so again a lot of useful information within startup performance if we go to proactive remediations If we go to proactive remediations here again we can see that i've only got the two default script package names here so i've not created any any sort of scripts but here you can this is where you can create a script package uh, for devices to proactively find and fix your issues um, so again you could again these haven't been run before but you could run these two and that would explain and give you information around you know how many times has has office restarted and and any updates to stale group policies so you can create specific apps if you want as well if we go down to recommended software then and uh, again here because i've had devices at one point enrolled um I, that you do see a score there um, and, and again um, the metrics it looks at is you know how many devices are windows 10 so all my devices were that i enrolled how many of those have a cloud identity so they're azure ad um, enrolled how many um are cloud managed and then how many have been enrolled with windows autopilot which was 13 percent and then again further down than that you can look at insights and recommendations the same windows autopilot one from from before um, so again gives you a good idea of um, how these metrics are, are being managed within your tenant so these are the two two we're going to go down to now for the, the application reliability and work from anywhere which are the two newer sort of reports and this is why they're in preview um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail around these because obviously they're in preview so they're not public release yet but if we look at app reliability you can look at basically here you can look at the health performance of the applications and how productive they're making your organization so that's the overall reliability score but then you can go into specific app performance and again if I had any devices in my tenant you'd see all the different applications maybe office into explorer etc and it breaks it then down further into which models uh, are performing better application wise which devices are and also your OS performance here so you'd, in our case we'd have Windows 10 information all here and again you can dig further down deeper into all these to get more granular insight finally if we look at work from home what this does is this is looking at a report that essentially gives you the ability to see if your your sort of, your sort of environment is fully equipped to allow employees to work from home or work remotely and work from anywhere in this case um, so if you look here we've got an overview obviously I've not, I've not got a score because again I don't have any um, devices enrolled but that'll tell us similar information so you know which devices are Windows 10 how, how many of them Windows 10 uh, how many of them have a cloud identity how many are cloud managed and how many are cloud provisioned so that's sort of obviously out of the box experience autopilot those same metrics are available up here so we're going to dig deeper so you can review devices that are evaluated in the Windows 10 metric you can review devices that are evaluated in the cloud identity metric which are either hybrid as your active directory or as your ad joined so they but they manage they have some sort of cloud management either hybrid or fully cloud management you can review the devices that are, that are evaluated with this cloud metric but these are so if you look it's got config manager and intune provide integrated cloud provided management tools as we know so these are co-managed or intune managed devices that you can review here Cloud provisioning is all around autopilot, so these are going to give you insight into devices that have got the done the out of box experience. Um, so again, it gives you more insight into how many of your devices have been autopilot provisioned. Um, so that was just a very quick overview of the Endpoint Analytics um, service within Endpoint Manager. As I said, there's a lot more information in, in my blog, so I just wanted to do a quick demo overview. 
Um, if you do have any, any sort of questions or you want to see more information, please do let me know. Drop me a comment in the video or feel free to drop me a comment on my blog um, or, or tweet me, of course. Um, please do like the video. Um, sub subscribe, obviously. Uh, I'm, try I'm trying to hit um, that 1,000 subscriber mark at some point in the future. I'm at about 300 at the moment, so I appreciate everyone's support. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the video for, for the blog around Empire Analytics. Uh, you can get the link in the uh, description. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, thank you and goodbye.